American mothers putting together this great initiative, looking at different ways to combat the problem. Uh, at the United Nations, we have this great presentation, and then I had the privilege of co-authoring a proposal along with Diane Callister and Lynn Callister that addresses the issue, and in hopes of creating a, a, an initiative that could be put into action by American mothers through the United Nations to create change. So this particular program focuses on um, creating an initiative that is centered within faith-based communities. So why faith-based communities? First of all, um, as an interfaith organization, American Mothers really recognizes what an important role that faith communities play in the lives of women. In addition, 70% of people around the world, 70% of the population identify with some religious tradition. So clearly, looking to religious communities is a really great way to make, um, to make a mark with this particular problem. Uh, having the NGO seat and having a mission, right, that is really focused on addressing the well-being of women and children, American Mothers is perfectly positioned to create an initiative to develop this issue. So the proposal developed, um, again, centered in faith-based communities, acknowledging um, the way that faith-based communities can be utilized, and it develops um, a multi-action plan that proposes training religious leaders and helping religious leaders to create in their own communities different ways to educate uh, their communities to be aware of these issues. So there's four steps here in this multi-action plan that I want to address. The first being education and awareness. So first of all, it's really important that religious leaders and faith-based communities be trained, right? They need to know how to address the problem. Uh, so American Mothers sees this as being a great way to develop a training program to go out, train religious leaders, give them the opportunity to have knowledge about the problem, and then learn about how they can take that to their communities and teach those communities. Prevention efforts is clearly a huge part of education and awareness. So American Mothers is very clear that when we're talking about prevention efforts, it has to be about training women and men. I always like to say, listen, gender-based violence, violence against women, not a women's issue. It's a human issue. It affects all of us. My brothers were no less affected by my mother's death than I was, right? It affects all of us. So we all need to be involved in working together to address this issue. So religious leaders working together to train all persons in their community on how to, number one, be aware, how to address, and how to prevent, right? Next, advocacy. I mean, religions are change agents. They're agents of peace. They are advocates of peace. If we're looking at the, the missions of traditions across the board, right? Religion is about peace and about love. And so focusing on these elements of supporting the full human dignity of every person through religion to advocate the well-being of all persons it just makes sense. And finally, support and care. Um, violence happens. And so having our religious leaders prepared to support women who are experiencing violence, to support children who are in a household where they see violence happening, to support families as a unit, and, and to offer counseling to persons who are abusive in helping them to overcome that kind of behavior. These are all important things that need to happen. So with this initiative that American Mothers has put together, uh, the idea is hopefully, you know, the United Nations is going to see the value in this and want to put this forward. Um, regardless, I think it's important for all of us to recognize that when we're talking about gender-based violence, we're talking about violence against women, really knowing that this is a human issue. It does affect all of us, and one in three is such a scary number to think about what that means in our lives and to be aware and to look at what's going on around you, to ask questions, and to be proactive. It's so important. So thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here, and I really feel like I'm in a room full of friends after this week. So thank you, and I just want to turn this over to my fabulous